What can you do with four barrels, two deck chairs, one big umbrella and a piece of dodgy plastic? You can make yourself a great video, that's what. Arr, if I'm not mistaken, that'd be the sound of a shark with a hacksaw. Ah, ref, did you get the number of the guy who did that head high tackle on me? Uh -oh. This is a popular picnic spot on the weekends, but I've found a clever way to keep it all to ourselves. It's called a fake snake. in the middle of the day? Don't these people know about the water restrictions? And now it's time for... Shelley's Top 5 Reasons Why. Yes, tonight it is my top five reasons why you need good table manners. Here we go. The number five reason why you need good table manners is... So, you don't look like a fish. <laughs> the number four reason is you never want to hurt the cook's feelings. why you need good table manners is so you don't have to be hosed down before you leave the table. <laughs> the number two reason is so you don't start a food riot. Someone finds it funny. And the number one reason why you need good table manners? Because you can only get away with being the birthday boy for one day of the year. You heard it here first. And now, from the finer points of etiquette to the not-so-fine skills of this happy hurdler. In October of 1957, Barry Stumblebum of Hurstville invents the expression, second time lucky. He then goes on to invent the expression, third time lucky. Before going on immediately to invent the expression, fourth time lucky. Okay, you will be jumping for joy if you get your hands on the $10,000 we give to the best new Aussie clip of the week. It's all thanks to the gang at Paul's Smarter White Milk. Hello, roller girl. Have you had your Paul's Smarter White Milk today? Nope, guess not. But this cat has, and she likes her milk straight from the source. And however you look at it, drinking Paul's Smarter White Milk really won't stop these guys looking stupid. Taking home the $10,000 this week is Sticky Situation, sent in by Kathy Lowe of Cravemore, South Australia. Well done, Kathy. Don't be so upset, Mum. They're only stickers. They come off. 
It's not like they're tattoos or anything. And the really good thing is, the more baby grows, the more room there'll be for stickers. Now, what else have we got for his nose? Congratulations again, Kathy. Well done. According to the tradition of throwing the bridal bouquet, the person who catches it is the next in line to get married. Even if that means walking down the aisle on crutches. Mooi! Mooi! Drive it to Mooi! I want to meet a nice ambulance driver! <laughs> this is my 12-step method to quitting bike stacks. This isn't fair. The kid shares the food with a mother but won't let me have any. Come on, let me have a nibble, eh? It was a good idea at high tide. Uh, that's a nice communion wine, if I do say so myself. <laughs> And you will be saying your prayers to win our grand final second prize because, as always, the magnificent folk at Mitsubishi have blessed us with two brand new cars to give to our very lucky winner. Second prize is your choice of two Mitsubishi four-wheel drives, including powerful Pajero, where every drive is an adventure. Challenger, city style meets country toughness. Or Outlander, the SUV with the technology for an active lifestyle. Or new ASX, the versatile, agile, city-sized SUV. There's a Mitsubishi four-wheel drive for every lifestyle. Love that car. 